March is the month of huge shifts and changes of outer planets and new beginnings as a collective and on a personal level, Pisces, with all planets now going direct. This allows for flow and new projects and activities. This means that now is your best opportunity to put out into the universe what it is that you want to create. The tides are flowing out and they're offering you new chances to initiate, start, or begin things. The flow is working with you to manifest your future. We have this open period of time until April 7th that is free of retrogrades and eclipses. What you need to know for your March horoscope. Hi, I'm Patricia Tate with WillowGraceMystic.com, and this is your astrology forecast for March 2023, Pisces Sun and Pisces Rising. Now, the overall energy of the first half of March is Piscean you. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, and it represents the culmination of every other sign's karmic evolution. The energy is often dreamy, glamorous, and otherworldly. It's all about dissolving or breaking down barriers between people, reality, dreams. So at this time, you're invited to dream, imagine, and create. This is your first house of self. Who are you? How do you present yourself? How do people see you? Um, this is uh, how you look, how you act. It is are you going to change your name for yourself? How, like classes, workshops, you changing and evolving. So on March 2nd, Mercury is going to be the first to enter your first house of self. Pisces being intuitive and imaginative, expect your imagination to become strong over the coming weeks. Take this time to focus on what are your hobbies, what are your creative projects that bring you joy. Mercury may have you focusing on several topics all at once, so leave time to focus and reflect on where your energy is best spent. Your mental energy can be disciplined and focused, and you can work on long-term plans and goals. You can pay attention to the details that make use of this practical outlet of changing who are you, your look, your, the way you act, everything about you. Then next on March 7th, the timekeeper planet of Saturn moves into Pisces. Now this is huge on a personal level and on a collective for you. Saturn has been in the sign of Aquarius for the past few years. Now for you, that has been your 12th house of shadow, dark work, dreams, um, isolation. So this is going to be really good for you because now it's going to be focused on you. Saturn has been in the sign of Aquarius for the past few years, and this has been part of the changing of the guards or the outer planets shifting into new signs. So looking back, if Saturn and Aquarius was strong power of concentration of your 12th house for you, practicality, moving forward, Saturn in Pisces means that you may need to work on being more reflective, more understanding of the past, to be more introspective and understand your Yourself, to be more compassionate and understand others, and to do all this in a healthy and responsible way. It is spirituality that is grounded with practical idealism. You're going to lean towards being more contemplative, purposeful, and grounded. And on the same day, March 7th, we're going to have this full moon in Virgo. Now, remember that full moons, they reveal areas that were hidden, and Virgo wants us to have lists, be structured, be organized. So this full moon is going to reveal things that are needed for you to get these projects and these tasks completed. It's going to reveal what you need to have in order to plan and follow through. This full moon is going to be a time of culmination and a promise of what was started at the new moon six months ago, and you might find power in routine and self-care. So this this is in your seventh house of partnerships. The partnerships can be your one-on-one -on -one relationships or your significant other or you and a client. This is also the house of open enemies. So on March 16th, Venus, the planet of love and romance, moves into the relaxed and stable sign of Taurus. She is very comfortable here. Your feelings of love and romance that you feel for others may take on now a very grounded and earthy quality. So at this time, you may feel more sensual and the desire of strong physical connections of you want love and romance. You may also feel less motivated to act quickly, preferring to enjoy life at a slower pace. And it's about this time of the month that the flow of the energy is going to shift from watery to fire, passion, drive, and thrust, because now we're going into Aries. It's here that you're going to be ready to ignite and dive into new. Now, Aries for you is your second house of cash, property, um, your, your values, your self-worth. It's anything that is about you and uh, your possessions. So on March 19th, Mercury rules your thoughts, travel, communication, and ideas. Your mind is going to be very active with your ideas and plans of follow uh, that are going to be flowing freely to initiate things that need to be made to happen in the area of your cash, your property, your self-worth, your things that you value. 
Then on March 20th, the sun is going to join up here. Aries is being the first sign of the zodiac. This is the zodiacal new year. So you're going to be full of energy, drive, motivation, and you're going to be driven. This is going to be a time that you're going to want to focus on uh, being motivated to take action with all things related to this area of your life, to take the initiative and charge forward with your cash, your property, what are you doing with it? Is it coming into you? How do you bring it into you? What do you value? What do you keep? What do you get rid of? And then on the very next day, March 21st, the moon joins up with the sun and you're gonna have a new moon in Aries. Now, new moons are times to initiate and focus on new beginnings, new adventures, new journeys. So feel excited about what is possible and feeling ready to get moving in this area of your life. Your energy is gonna to continue to be high. You're gonna be focusing on what you need to get started with quickly with and right now with your cash, your property, your values, your self-worth. And then on March 23rd, Pluto is going to enter Aquarius. Now, this is huge as a collective and on a personal level for you because Pluto has been in Capricorn for over a decade. This is part of the changing of the guards or the outer planets, again, all shifting. They are slow. They are steady. Pluto and Aquarius means that you're going to be more passionate about the future. That change for you is going to be prolific and long lasting, but you need to make sure that you're transforming for the better of all, not just a few. Aquarius is for the people. And then on March 25th, Mars enters Cancer. Mars is finally leaving Gemini after an exhausting and extended stay and now moves into the sensitive sign of Cancer where you're gonna have more energy, more drive for matters that involve your home and your family. You're gonna to wanna to start projects and plans from the ground up and work on having a stronger foundation. And for you, this is in your fifth house of fun, romance, children, creativity, art, music, sex. This is the house of what brings me joy. So I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. To hear updates as soon as they are released, please subscribe.